Hi friends, welcome to a drop spot and welcome to superposition test net by fluidity. We are going to begin this interaction by adding superposition chain to our meta mask. So I'm going to tap on add network. Tap on add more networks manually. Then begin to enter the network name, RPC or chain ID and currency symbol. I'm going to have everything in the comment section for your convenience. Then I'm going to tap on save. Tap on switch to superposition testnet. Next up, we are going to be visiting the faucet to claim test tokens. And to do that, we are going to visit faucet.superposition.so. Enter your wallet address to claim test tokens, then tap on request XPN. If you have CAPTCHA, you have to verify it. Test token sent. Now we are going to be doing some bridging, we are going to visit bridge.superposition.so. Here we are going to be bridging uh, funds over from Arbitrum Sepulia to Superposition Testnet. So I have 0 0.8 SPN. I'm going to be bridging over 0 0.5 to Superposition. And then you have to make sure that these three guys right here are checked. Once checked, tap on switch to approve gas token. My wallet is not currently on Arbitrum Sepulia, so I have to switch my network. Tap on switch network. Tap on approve gas token. Tap on max to set your spending cap then tap on approve. That is done then tap on initiate deposit. Confirm in your wallet. You can find your transaction records at the bottom middle of the screen. I am going to switch over to the withdraw tab and this time I'm going to be withdrawing funds from superposition back to Arbitrum Sepolia. So SPN is the only available token. I am going to tap on superposition. Then I'll select the amount that I want to bridge. Then tap on withdraw. Again, check these three conditions. Tap on initiate withdrawal. And you have to switch back to superposition testnet to be able to do this part. Then tap on withdraw. Recheck this. Then again, tap on initiate withdrawal. Confirm transaction. If you tap on the activity log at the bottom middle, you see the status of each of your transactions. While that is um, running, I'm going to be making some swaps by visiting long.so. Connect your wallet. Mm -hmm. 
Now scroll a little bit to the top and then tap on get started. Now based on the tokens that you have available, you can start to make some swaps between tokens. I want to swap between FUSDC and WSPN. Tap on confirm swap. You can set your custom spending cap. Tap on next and tap on approve. Now confirm the transaction in your wallet. Transaction successful. You can still go ahead and make more swaps. This time I want to uh, swap between WSPN and FUSDC. Tap on swap. You can swap between other tokens as well. Tap on swap. Confirm swap. Tap on next, tap on approve. Confirm transaction in wallet. You can as well try to interact with the staking feature by tapping on the stake tab. But as at the point of recording this video this afternoon, this feature is not working and transactions kept failing. So I won't bother right now. I'll leave it and then try it again some other time. Now, next up, we are going to be visiting a Superposition Interact campaign. Because we interacted with the testnet before coming here, most of the tasks here have been completed aside the social ones. You can see get faucet tokens and swap minimum $100 in volume on long tail. We've done that. So I'm quickly going to verify the social tasks and the ones that we have done. All tasks have been verified. The only thing that we have not done here is to stake 500 fly tokens on fluidity money. And let's tap on that task to get it done. Tap on continue to link. Once you log in to Fluidity, you are going to receive the prompt to switch your network to Arbitrum. And I have done that. Now let's tap on the sidebar menu and then tap on get fly once you tap on get fly you are going to be redirected to uniswap website but as for me i want to use the app so i'm going to open up my app and what you want to do here is to swap some arbitrum usdc into fly tokens 500 fly that you want to stake will only cost you three dollar not more than three dollar worth of arbitrum usdc so i'm going to tap on sell and in the receiver token, I am going to paste the contract address of Fly there. Fluidity, that is what we are looking for. So I'll tap on it. I'll enter the amount of Fly that I want to swap into. That's 500. I'll tap on review, then tap on swap to complete my transaction. Transaction successful. I am back on Fluidity and this time at the sidebar menu, I'll tap on staking. I'll tap on the stake button. I'll indicate the amount of fly that I want to stake. I'll tap on max, then tap on stake. Now you need to know that when you stake your fly, it is going to take you 7 days if you want to unstake before you can receive fly in your wallet. I'll tap on stake and then confirm the transaction in my wallet.
taken successful, I'll then go back to Interact to verify this task. I'll tap on it again to bring out the verify button. Task completed. Now for completing all of the tasks on Interact, you are going to get 70 XP. Lastly, we are going to visit Superposition website itself, that's superposition.so. Tap on Launch Testnet. There are three key tasks to complete when you are trying to interact with Superposition. The first is long tail AMM. We have done that at the beginning of this video. That is um, swapping bridging tokens. Second is interact. That is where we are coming from. And lastly, we want to mint our domain on Superposition. Meow domain. To mint your domain name, you need to switch your chain back to Superposition. So I'll tap on switch to Superposition testnet. Now, when you want to mint your domain name, 5 plus characters is free, while 4 character name is 1 SPN, 3 character name is 2 SPN, and the shorter your, the character of your name is, the more tokens that you pay, while the longer it is, the lesser tokens that you are going to pay. So, I'm going to enter Comirich as my domain name, that is 9 letters, and it is going to cost me 0 SPN. I'll tap on Buy Domain. I'll confirm the transaction in my wallet. Transaction successful. So that's all about superposition testnet. You need to know that as for the long tail AMM, that is the swapping and bridging of tokens, you need to repeat this interaction for as often as you can so that you can increase your interaction count with the superposition testnet and potentially increase the level of rewards that you are going to get as well because this is an incentivized testnet. If you have any questions, drop me a comment in the comment section of this video. If you have found value, then give me a like in this video and also subscribe to my channel for future updates on Superposition Testnet. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow in another tutorial.